Hey everyone, my name is Usman and in this video we will see how we can implement these beautiful flip animations in React using React Flip Toolkit. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is what we will be building. So I have a list of dummy users and if I change the sort order, you can see that it animates beautifully. It doesn't just happen instantaneously. Also, if I delete something, you can see a proper animation of the card fading away and the other list items going up. So that is what we will be building today. And we'll be doing that using the React Flip Toolkit library. So there are three flip libraries in the market. And this is the best one. And this is the one which is being maintained to date. You can see that last change was made seven days ago. Also, it has a tons of functionality. So you can install it using yarn add React Flip Toolkit. Now I have basically removed the flip code and now we will basically add it from scratch. So right now this is a common list. If I you know click on the cross icon to uh, delete a card or if I sort it you can see that you know there is no animation here so we'll add the animation so if I show you the component this is a normal component I have the sort state and these are the buttons which toggle the sort state and based on the sort state I am basically sorting the users by ID and I am generating the users using faker.js the ID is basically the standex and the data is basically dummy data generated from faker.js and basically I am taking the sorted users and I'm mapping them into card components and this is the card component basically I'm taking the use data and I am displaying them in a nice format and I'm using Chakra UI for the library you can use any UI library you want and when I click on the delete icon I filter the users based on the ID now let's add the animation aspect of it so first of all the main component which is responsible for animations is the flipper component let me import the flipper component. Now, whenever we have to add any animation, we have to wrap the portion where we want to add the animation with the flipper component. Now the flipper component has got a required prop and that is the flip key. Now the flip key is basically something which would trigger the animation when it would change and it is a string. So I'll add the flip key here and this would be a variable. Let me copy it. And basically the animation would trigger as I said when the flip key would change so when do I want the animation to trigger I want the animation to trigger when the users array would change so whenever I would you know delete something from the users array I want the animation to trigger also I would want the animation to trigger when the sort changes so whenever I would change the sort I want the animation to trigger so I can basically do something like this users dot map user user dot id dot join comma so basically this would get me a string with the ids of the users separated by comma so if some user is deleted that id won't be part of this particular string so then you know the flip key with string would change and the animation would trigger similarly i would also want sort to be part of it so whenever the sort state changes i would want the flip key to change and the animation to trigger so i'll pass the flip key here great also there is another prop which is optional and that is spring so spring is basically the type of animation i want to have so it can be any of the five types and the types of the spring prop are this so stiff no wobble gentle very gentle and wobbly and i will show you a couple of those and you will basically get the idea of the animations they provide so for now i will just use gentle great now this flipper is a wrapper component i also want to wrap the card component with another component so that would be flipped because that is the original thing i want to animate so i'll copy this card I'll place this under it then flip component also expects some props one is the flip ID so flip ID should be unique inside a flipper component so I will use the user ID as the flip ID then I'll pass a key so that would be also be user ID now if I'm using an HTML element directly inside the flip component then I don't need to do anything it would work but if I'm using a react component inside the flip component then I have to use another syntax so I will say props this would return the card component and basically i have to pass the props inside the card component so i will spread them here inside the card component i will go here rest and then i will spread these props here great now if i go here and i click on 
sorting you will see that sorts and the animation has been added great this animation was only added with literally two three lines of code and that is amazing now you can see that the animation is too spontaneous like you can see that every card animates at the same time and you may not want that so there is another prop for the flip component known as tagger so if you pass tagger then what would happen is these cards would kind of go sequentially one after each other so the animation won't look too sudden so now if i click on sort you can see that it is now more subtle and that is cool now there is one thing if i click on the cross icon you can see that the dom element just disappears you know it has got no animation and it would be more visible if i go to the end and click on this you will see that it just disappears you know nothing special happens no animation happens and i want to you know add some animation so you can also do that so because when i delete a component it exits from the list i will use the on exit prop and i will pass an on exit function here great let me copy it let me paste it here so i'll say on exit then on exit component expects three params so one is the element this would be the card component which is being removed then the index the index of the card component inside the flipper component and then remove element so this function would remove it from the dom great now in order to add the animation i'll use the spring function so i will use spring from react flip toolkit in this react flip toolkit function i'll pass two functions so on update which won't do anything as of right now and then on complete in on complete i'll just pass remove element so basically whenever the animation completes i want to remove the element from the dom simple now on update would give me a val param now let me console log the val param so that you can see what it is now if i delete a card you will see a bunch of values so basically this on update function was called like 20 to 30 times with values ranging from 0 to 1. So basically you can use this function to apply any sort of animation. So because the value is going from 0 to 1, I can, you know, maybe change the opacity from 1 to 0 by subtracting this value from 1. So 1 minus val initially would be 1. The opacity is 1 obviously for the card. And then maybe at the end because the value is 1, 1 minus 1 would be 0 so now the opacity would become 0 I will show you in a minute so I will go here I'll say element that element is the card so dot style dot opacity is equal to 1 minus well and then basically I'll say it should be a number and then let me convert it into a string because the style property expects the property values to be assigned as strings so that it's gone great now if i go to the list and try to remove any element you will see that it has a subtle opacity animation before it exits out of the dom and it just doesn't disappear instantaneously that would be more visible if i remove the list item from the end so if i click on this you will see the opacity in action great and that is it for the video if you like this tutorial and want me to make a complex course for this do let me know now in the comments below and i'll surely make it as always like and subscribe because that motivates me to make more and more videos for you guys as always i'll see you in the next video bye